Member from Kitchener, Conestoga. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question this morning is for the Minister of Health and Long Term Care. Mr. Speaker, time and time again we hear about the shortage of nurses in this province. And that's one of the reasons why in 2003 the McGuinty government pledged to hire an additional 8,000 nurses. And why in the 2007 election the government committed to adding 9,000 more nurses over the coming years. Yet in these difficult times, difficult economic times, Mr. Speaker, I know that some nurses in my riding of Kitchener, Conestoga and across Ontario are concerned. They want to know that their hard work is appreciated by this government. They want to know that this government will hire nurses, not fire them as previous governments have done. Mr. Speaker, I ask the Minister of Health, is he truly committed to the nurses in Ontario? Minister. Speaker, thank you very much. I, I'm glad the honourable member asks this question. It gives me a chance to express my appreciation not only to the more than 100,000 nurses who are keeping our province's health care system strong, but to their leadership who are here with us today in the, in the Gallery of Queen's Park. I welcome you here today. Speaker, our hospitals, our long-term care homes, our family health teams are thriving because of the expertise, the skills, the diligence and dedication of our nurses. Our government and I am absolutely committed to increasing the number of nurses working in this province. According to the most recent data from the Ontario College of Nurses, we've hired 9,000 669 nurses since we were elected in 2003. That's almost 10,000 nurses, jobs created in the province of Ontario. And today, Speaker, I am pleased to tell you that the College of Nurses of Ontario is reporting that there are officially more than 1,300 nurse practitioners entitled to practice in the province. According to the College in 2003, there are 535 employed. So Thank you, Minister. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, there are currently a number of hospitals in Ontario attempting to balance their budgets. Like this government and like many Ontario families, hospitals are trying to figure out how to thrive in difficult economic times. Many of them are working closely with their LINs to find solutions that will not compromise patient care, examining ways to maximize resources, capitalize on expertise of highly qualified health care professionals. Occasionally this may mean that nurses have to change jobs and some of them could end up in positions that require more training. Mr. Speaker, can the Minister of Health tell this House what the government is doing to support nurses through this difficult economic transition? What is the government doing to ensure that nurses land on their feet? Sir, I, I want to tell my honourable colleagues about uh, an initiative that was created back in 2005 to help to address this specific issue. We invested in a $40 million strategy called the Nursing Retention Fund. In fact, it's managed by our three major nursing partners. This fund provides additional resources to help hospitals to help to retrain and to, uh, and to retain nurses. It helps nurses build on their skills and train for more specialized positions. It's designed to help to safeguard nursing jobs when Ontario hospitals seek to reorganize, reallocate or redeploy resources. And I want to encourage more Ontario hospitals to take advantage of this fund because the applications that have been submitted to date, I know more hospitals and nurses could benefit from the opportunities that this fund can create for them. We want to empower Ontario hospitals to strengthen and develop their nursing staff as they reallocate their resources, and this fund is designed to do just that. I think it's a promising solution. One that will. Thank you, Minister.